Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to do some more about Norway. This is 15 things you don't know about Norway. So, and, and Norway's really intrigued me uh, so far. A few, yeah, I've done a few videos and it's a really interesting country. So, 15 things. Uh, let me maybe, obviously, uh, a lot of uh, viewers for reactions to these videos uh, would be from Norway. So, yeah, let me know. Let me know more about them in the comments section and other videos about Norway, uh, whatever they may be. Uh, yeah, l let me know some videos I can react to. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss them, but let's get right into it. Sweet. This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we present you with another incredible country. Okay. Today, we're looking at yeah. 15 things you didn't know about Norway. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Okay. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back to our channel. It's good to have you back here with us today for another video created by our team here at Alux.com. In our sites today, we have Norway, the Scandinavian country with lots of history, cool designs, Viking ancestors, and a growing economy. Topped with natural Sounds beautiful good. landscapes and lots of oil they export, it's easy to see why Norway is the ruling country in the peninsula. With a population of a little over 5 million people, the country is mostly okay. inhabited in the southern region due to the north's harsh climate and tall mountains. It's said that the first Vikings originated from Norway between the 8th and 10th centuries, and nowadays Ooh. the country is one of the healthiest and happiest in the world. Hey, long... that, that, that sounds good to me. Or happiest, healthiest. Those are, those are the important things. Happy, happy and healthy. <laughs> Financially a bit important as well, but yeah, happy and healthy. Yeah, yeah they're right on top of the list, I say. Lots of natural resources yeah. and is one of the healthiest and happiest in the world. Yeah. Having lots of natural resources and a clever way of managing them made Norway a model almost nobody managed to replicate. Oof. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. With all that being said, we've done some digging and found some incredible things about this country. Here are 15 things you didn't know about Norway. Let's see. Number one. Norway exports tap water. Ooh. Yes, you heard that right. Tap water. In Norway, the water is so pure that you can drink it from the tap with no problems. <laughs> Their water comes mostly from glaciers and natural springs that don't need much filtration. You can even get their tap water at restaurants for free. Having such wow. praised water supplies, they manage to market it and sell it as artisanal water all over the world. We're talking about Voss water, the Norwegian brand uh, selling bottled yeah, tap water. Yeah, I heard of Voss. This story was uncovered yeah. in the documentary film A Drop of Luxury, where yeah. one executive from the brand admitted that the water is pretty much tap mm. water in a fancy bottle. <laughs> Number two, Norsemen go to Sweden or Finland to buy cheaper alcohol. If you're planning to take a trip to Norway, make sure you bring enough money with you because huh. even if it's a great country to visit, it's also extremely expensive when it comes to housing, dining, transportation, and pretty much everything. Oh. The minimum wage is around $25 per hour, so money is not wow. a problem for the locals. But even so, they still like to buy cheaper items like food or alcohol. People travel That's between Norway and Sweden just to get cheaper alcohol and basic groceries for years. Police stopped a truck at customs one time because it was transporting $2.8 million worth of <laughs> undeclared garlic across the border from Sweden. Like as that. By the Irish Times. If you ever visit Norway, maybe stock up on some alcohol. And people travel. That, that just sounds so random. Like. Travel between Norway and Sweden just to get cheaper alcohol and basic groceries for years. Wow. Police stopped a truck at customs one time because yeah. it was transporting $2.8 million worth of undeclared garlic across the border from Sweden. <laughs> like what? As reported by the Irish Times. If you ever visit Norway, maybe stock up on some alcohol and snacks. Just Jack to Daniels. In. Number three. Famous movies and TV series were filmed there. Europe has been the set of a lot of movies and TV shows lately. More and more productions yeah. seek out old medieval cities, green plains, or high shores mm. that cannot be replicated in the studios. Yeah, the European, yeah, exactly that. They, yeah, they, they, they have a good vibe. They've got a good feel. Again, like for these type of scenes here, uh, yeah, they, they have the scenery uh, for that.
Such locations later become major tourist attractions yeah. and offer people new destinations to travel to. Norway is also on the list of famous sets with movies like The Danish Girl, The Empire Strikes Back, Harry Ooh. Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Ex Machina, or The Golden Compass being shot fully or partially there. If mm. you want major FOMO design, watch Ex Machina as it was shot in a breathtaking Scandinavian home. Okay. Number four. They started a wealth fund worth one trillion dollars. Norway has quite a small population and the northern part is not very inhabited since it snows all year round and temperatures are below zero almost all the time. Wow. That's why most That's of the cold. population lives in Oslo, the capital city, or the surrounding area. That where looks they can be nice. Closer to civilization. Okay. The country relies on its oil extractions from the northern sea very much and you'll be surprised to find out that most of the profits from the oil industry are secured into a wealth fund which is now worth one trillion dollars. <sighs> This money is used by the population and for the population. As of 2017, every citizen has $192 from that fund, and it keeps growing. Okay. While your country might be in debt, Norway has money in a trust just in case something happens. Number 5. The richest man in Norway is John Fredriksen, with a net Ooh. worth of $7.3 billion. The person we're going to talk about now is most probably not known to a lot of people. In fact, a lot of billionaires are not out there in the media, on the red carpet or at major events. They usually run their businesses from their office or on their plane. John Fredriksen is the richest person in Norway and has a fortune of $7.3 billion as of 2018, and most probably only people in Norway know about him and his business. He made a fortune out of oil tankers and shipping, and he okay. owns the world's largest oil tanker fleet. Wow. He also has major interests in other oil-related businesses, and will probably make some more investments in the near future. Hey, it's, it's that oil money. It's the oil money. That's where it's at. For his place in the industry. Number six. Kevin Spacey is accused of abusing a member of the royal family in Norway. That one, like, seems so random. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting that at all heard about Kevin Spacey's abuse wow. scandal that broke out a few months ago, and we even wept a little after his removal from the House of Cards final season. Yeah. He was accused of sexual advances towards a 14-year-old boy back in 1986. That's just Kevin weird. Kevin Spacey stated that he does not have any memory of that, but he apologized publicly. But that wasn't <laughs> enough, and his reputation had quite a bit to suffer after the scandal. Another yeah. victim came through regarding Kevin Spacey's behavior, and that person is a member of Norway's royal family. Oof, that's he told huge. the media that Kevin Spacey groped him under a table at a Nobel Peace Prize concert in Oslo 10 years ago. Uh. His name is Ari Ben, formerly married to Princess Martha Louise and father of three, and okay. he became the 16th man to accuse Spacey of sexual misconduct. Number seven. Ah, uh, uh, like, I have so much to say, but just... I didn't get it. You don't do that to people. I'll leave it at that. So, their Olympic on. skiing team had Nazi symbols on their sweaters. When you're born in a country where winter lasts almost all year long, it comes wow. as no surprise that in matters of sport, you'll so be practicing super cold. the winter ones. Very Norway's cold. winter sports teams are always winning medals at the Winter Olympics or any other competition. For the 2018 Winter Olympics, their designer tried something new for the team's official clothing, but in return, they only got negative comments and Nazi references. Huh. Their black and gray sweaters feature a symbol, Tyr Rune, representing the attacking Viking, a symbol commonly associated with Viking and Norse mythology. But the symbol has also been used by extreme right-wing groups and is also the official emblem for Adolf Hitler's leadership school in Nazi Germany. I guess it's safe to say the designer got an F in history class. <laughs> Number 8. Police Uncovered Years of Sex Abuse in Norway's Northern Areas Another sex scandal that, wasn't covered. That just makes me feel uncomfortable when it's saying that subject matter and showing kid, like, child on the screen. I'm like, yeah, it's cr that's crazy. Away this year. Yeah. This time, people from the far northern areas were on the radar when police uncovered over 150 sex abuses and assaults that went unreported for a year. Generations of native Sami people living in remote northern regions have been victims of rape and child abuse. With a population of around 2,000 people living in those communities, yeah. you can imagine how big of an yeah. impact the scandal had. 
These Sami communities have their own language and have been living across the Arctic in Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia for a long period of time without going extinct. But sadly, they have lots of abuse issues, and who knows what other problems. Mm. Number 9. Norway is not an EU member. No. The European Union is a political and economic union of 28 member states that are located okay. primarily in Europe and was established in 1957 through the Treaty of Rome. Back then, only six countries entered the union and seven more would enter as the union grew bigger. Norway was a part of the second batch of countries that wanted to enter the union in 1972. The decision was negotiated for almost two years between Norway and the rest of the member countries, but was ultimately submitted to be a referendum vote and the population voted against the EU. Uh -huh. Since then, Norway declined another EU invitation and is still not a member of the EU, but remains one of the richest and most prosperous countries in Europe. Yeah, that's interesting. Number 10. Hmm. Oil is very expensive in Norway, yeah, back on the even oil. though they produce and export it. In case you didn't get it by now, Norway is very expensive. It's yeah, up there with it sounds like where it. a small bottle of water is at least $5 at the supermarket. Topped with housing, groceries, utilities, transportation, and dining out, you end up spending a few thousand euros just on your daily life expenses. Ooh. If you paid attention, we mentioned earlier that Norway makes most of its money and profit from the oil industry. They extract the oil from the Northern Sea and then they export it. That easy. You would expect in this case to buy one liter of petrol at the gas station for a couple of dollars since they have so much of it. But no. no. Norway has the highest oil prices in the world. Cool. One gallon of petrol is at least $7.82, almost three times more expensive than in the US. That's wild. If you want to find out some more about another northern country, make sure to watch our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About, Finland. <laughs> Number 11. Norway is the first country that banned tree cutting. Okay. Just that's, Googling Norway on the web that's or interesting. watching the movies we mentioned a few minutes ago will get you the full picture of just how beautiful and raw this country mm. is. Lots it's of very beautiful. Nature, natural reservations that's for sure. and parks, Aurora Borealis mm. and Lapland are just a few of the wonders you can experience in rural Norway. And in order to keep the landscape as Mother Nature intended, the government decided to act and passed a law that banned tree cutting across the whole country. <laughs> Deforestation is a major problem, and a mm. lot of regions face it, and it's affecting our global climate too. Yeah. Let's hope more countries sure. look up to Norway and act quickly. Yes. Number 12. I can support the that. I can support that for sure. That will be a good cause. The fjords area will be fjords. the first okay. zero emission zone at sea. Mm. Norway's majestic fjords have become popular tourist attractions over the years. You can't visit Norway without having a cruise over the fjords in the same waters as the Vikings once sailed. That sounds but since nice. They're so popular, it means more and more people are visiting, and that means pollution levels are growing. The yeah. area is now being transformed into a zero emission zone at sea, and no cruise ships and ferries are allowed to go there if they're not electric. This measure shows that tourism can be dangerous to a lot of beautiful areas, and no yeah. money can bring back what people and pollution destroys. Yeah. Another thumbs up for Norway. Thumbs Number up. Number <laughs> three. They knighted a real penguin. What? That's... There's a penguin in this world that is actually a real knight. With That's crazy. I like how some of these are just so unexpected. Like, they're, like they seem so random. Like... Yeah, like when it comes to the money and stuff, like that's more okay. I expected something like that, but what come in number thirteen? They knighted a real penguin that just was nowhere near something I would have expected. Creation, <laughs> full ride. I like that kind of stuff though. Feet. So it random. Might sound like a Disney production, but it's real life. Real life. Brigadier Sir Niels Olaf is a king penguin who currently resides in the Edinburgh Zoo, Scotland, <laughs> and is the mascot and colonel-in-chief of the Norwegian King's Guard. That's He's cool. He's the third in his family to inherit the title, and goes by the title Niels Olan III. He got his knight title in 2008, <laughs> and in 2016, he even got a promotion at the zoo, and they made him a brigadier. You'll see Sir <laughs> Niels cool. Olaf walking in front of his army of men, and a tiny decoration can be seen on his wing. We're now waiting uh, for the written biography and the movie to be made. That will be wild. Number 14. Oslo donates Oslo. a Christmas tree to Trafalgar Square every year as a thank you okay. for the World War II support. Yeah. World War II had a lot of its battlefields in Europe. 
Long mm-hmm. story short, the Germans went on a quest to take over the countries around them and expand their territory, but were not very successful in the Scandinavian peninsula. Yeah. Norway was invaded by German forces in April of 1940, but they were not able to capture King Hakon. He was later exiled in London where he tried to take his country back. With the help of Britain, he managed to take back Norway from the German occupation, and in order to show his gratitude, the king promised to give a Christmas tree to Trafalgar Square every year. Since then, That's nice. every year the That's Christmas nice. tree you see lit up in Trafalgar Square is a kind gift from Norway. Mm. Now that's what you call diplomacy and good foreign policies. I'd Number say 15. so. Ikea. Ikea names wardrobes and hall furniture after oh. places in Norway. Okay. Ikea. The place where couples fight over bedside tables and curtains <laughs> for the living room. It's probably one of the most recognizable brands in the world. And yes, we know it's Swedish. What you might not know is that Ikea has a strict rule of naming its objects and furniture items. The rules for naming were devised by Ikea's founder, Ingvar Kamprad, who struggled with dyslexia and had trouble remembering the order of numbers in item codes. Okay. The name Ikea itself is an acronym for Ingvar Kamprad Almterid, his family's farm, and Agunarid, the village he grew up in. So, okay. bathroom articles... Okay, uh, I, I did not know that, so I learned that today about Ikea, obviously. Yeah, uh, I don't think you're going to find many people that have not heard of Ikea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, great store. After Swedish lakes and water courses, bed textiles after flowers and plants, and beds, wardrobes, hall furniture after Norwegian place names. There are also That's other cool. Scandinavian yeah. references and a lot more of Swedish culture, but mm. Norway is also a part of IKEA. Yeah, culture. they're a part of it. Now that was it for our Norway story, a right. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Let us know in the comments below if you visited this beautiful country before. I or haven't if you're yet. To visit. I might need to. I might need to now. Uh, would be yeah. Would be very good to travel. It looks like a very beautiful country, and then. Uh, from this video, there's some, yeah, really interesting facts, uh, facts about it as well. But yeah, it looks very, very beautiful and cold. Uh, I don't, I don't mind wearing the hoodies and stuff, but, uh, it's probably more than (laughs) what I experience in Australia. But we'll just let this play out. I def- would love, love to go, though. And watch this one all the way right. to the end. That looks so beautiful. See, it. I don't know how much, because with videos, the, like, the colouring is, like, made, yeah, more brighter or whatever. But, yeah, it, it looks so nice. <laughs> it looks so nice. Another fact. Here it is. We all attribute sushi to Japan. They invented it. There are a lot of types okay. of sushi, and if you hadn't been to a Japanese restaurant or have never eaten sushi, just remember that it contains different types of fish and sometimes even vegetables. Yeah. One of the best known sushi is a salmon roll or nigiri, but the truth is salmon was not popular in Japan until the 1960s and 70s. Okay. Norway brought the fish to Japan and showed them how to eat it raw. After their invention, the Japanese began to experiment more with salmon, and now lots of sushi have salmon in it. Yeah. Thank you for spending some time with okay. us. Okay. Make- we'll leave it there. Uh, 15 things. Yeah, I, I definitely did not know about Norway, and as I reacted to throughout, some of them were really surprising and not expecting some really just... Not odd ones, but just, yeah, I didn't expect that. Uh, I didn't expect that, but... Hmm. Is there is there anything else? Is there anything else they left out? Some really important facts about Norway uh, that I should know. Let me know in the comments section. As I said, uh, the few videos I've reacted to from Norway so far, I've got a playlist so you can see what I've done uh, already. But yeah, it's really yeah, really interesting country how they yeah, how they operate. So I'm gonna leave it there though. Subscribe for more reactions. As I said, definitely gonna do more to Norway intrigued by the country. Uh, I'll see you in the very next reaction.